Merry Christmas everyone, it's Red Snow Moose with another Minecraft video for you today. Today I have constructed a 4-bit computer. I'm going to put a download description and I encourage you all to add stuff to it and program it and see what you can come up with. But before I explain more about that, I'm going to go into the control room and I'm going to show you what it can do. So this is Moose PC 1.0 running at 0.25 Hz. And here is the control room. We have one line of program memory. That's the only downside. In the future, I might put some registered memory into there, and you can keep the whole switch interface, but save it to a line of, like, more lines of data. And uh, over here, we have just the input A and input B. We have RAM slot B, RAM slot A clear buttons for both of the RAM slots, and then our simple display. So, I'm going to explain how the programming works. We have our operations, either add, and, or not. And we have our first number, it's input A, RAM A, or RAM B. Our second number is input B, RAM A, or RAM B. Then we have the destination that the output's going to, it's either display, RAM A, or RAM B. And we have our enter switch. It can also work as a button, if you just quickly flick it. I have a signal extender in there, I mean, lengthener. And what it does is it just makes it go longer so everything can update in time. Alright, so I'm going to quickly run a quick program. Oh, well, that was kind of weird. I say quickly and quickly run a quick program. Alright, never mind. So, I'm going to add some numbers. So, I'm going to click down add. Input A and input B. I'm going to put it to the display. Over here, I can add two numbers. So, I'm going to do 12. I mean, not 12. That's hopefully going to be answered, but it's going to be 10 plus 2. And I can just hit enter. And 12 should appear on there. Yep, here we go. 12. Alright, so time to do a more complex program. going to deselect all these. Alright. So, say you want to subtract two numbers. It takes a little bit more. Um, your standard subtractor has, um, the A input inverted and the output inverted, so we're going to have to do this with our program. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my numbers before I go program. So let's do um, let's do 12 minus 2 should give us 10. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and start by going not input A. I'm going to save that to RAM slot A. Now when you save to RAM you have to do an extra step. It all fills up like this, then you gotta update it. While the lever, enter lever is still pulled. As you can see, now we have the inverted version of our input. So I'm gonna deselect that. Alright, so the second step is we gotta add input B to RAM A. And let's save that to RAM B and hit enter. And this is going to fill up like crazy again, like the others. We're going to have to hit this button. Alright. So, all we did is we added 2 to 3 to get 5. So, our last step is to deselect all of this. Make sure you deselect enter first. That was not good what I just did. And make sure the light turns off all the way or else still might be running the program and you might accidentally write data to the wrong area. I got lucky that time because I deselected the destination first, but in the future I'll try not to do that. So, last step is we're going to not RAM B to display. And that inverts the answer, and if we hit enter, we should get 10. Alright, here we go. So, 2 and 8 makes 10, so that's it. So that concludes the programming section. I'm going to go ahead and give you an overview of all the circuits in here. Over here, we have all these right here are our in, um, inputs. And this line up here is not this line. Um, oh, yeah, it is this line because it's selected. Um, it's our enter button. And it sends a pulse through here and turns the top part of all these AND gates to OFF. So then whatever the switches, we'll turn it on, and as you can see, some switches are pulled, so these lights, a couple of them are on. 
So as we get down over here, we have our ALUs. Um, this is um, the first bit. It is I've incorporated a full adder and a NOT gate and an AND gate all into the same thing, coming off of the same two inputs. And out here in the outputs are where it gets um, divided. And again, with these AND gates, you'll see these style of AND gates all over the place. I use them a lot. Over here, we have our RAM. And here is the output of the RAM coming off AND gates again to control it. And it is flowing in massive data buses all the way up through here and over to the ALU. And over here, we have our input A and B which runs across an even longer data bus to the ALU. Might want to shorten that in the future if I come out with another one. Over here we have a very simple display and I believe that is it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you come up with any cool programs, please leave them in the comments. I'd like to see what you come up with. All I've come up with so far is add and subtract, and that's because I've literally just finished this computer. So, if you guys mess around and come up with anything cool, let me know. Um, see ya.